Wizards. Yo, Madison. Check out these new friends. They're really cool. We're talking cold-blooded. They're reptiles. Some reptiles hung out with the mighty dinosaur. But modern-day lizards don't grow that big anymore. Pythons are reptiles, slippery and long. So are sea turtles, whose flippers push them along. Komodo dragons weigh in at 300 pounds. And vipers scare you away with frightening sounds. The fringe-toed lizard lives on the hot desert sand. But turtles can backpack just about anywhere on land. At first glance, these lounging lizards might look a little lazy. But would you believe they're actually working very hard? Sunbathing keeps reptiles alive. They're cold-blooded animals. That means they use the sun to heat their bodies, like these alligators are doing. Staying warm is a tough job for them. Of course, when it gets too hot, a baby gator dives right in. How do you tell the difference between a crocodile and an alligator? It's in the grin. Old Snaggletooth here could use some braces. You can tell he's a crocodile because he wears his big teeth on the outside. His cousin, the alligator, hides his teeth inside. Meet the family. Did you know crocodiles are really great moms? Usually, it's a smart idea to stay away from these big teeth. Unless you're a baby crocodile. Then, mom's mouth is the safest place to be. Back when he was just an egg, she used her teeth to help him break out of his shell. When he hatched, he found out he had 40 brothers and sisters. For mom, that's a lot of trips to the swimming lagoon. So dad helps out too. A snake with the hiccups? Not really. A Burmese python shivers to keep her eggs warm. Just like a chicken, she'll sit on her eggs until they hatch. Watch what happens. Out they come, hissing for action. Starting a sea turtle family means making a run for the beach. First it's dig, dig, dig in a big sandy nest. Then the turtle moms lay lots and lots of eggs. Eight weeks later, the babies push their way out and head back into high water. talk. When a rattlesnake wants your attention, you'll know it. He's got his own built-in drum kit, and his message is clear. 
He's telling you, back off, I'm dangerous. And the soft-scaled viper? She's warning you too, only she makes noise by rubbing her coils together. The animal who ignores this snake's warning will be history. Do snakes have ears? They don't need them. They can use their whole bodies to pick up sound vibrations. That means they can feel sounds with their stomachs. <laughs> Good thing they're not ticklish. Let's learn some lizard sign language. This frilled lizard wants you to think he's a real tough guy. So he flips up his fancy collar. What's this fellow saying? He's telling other lizards whether he's feeling good or just downright bad. It's called bobbing. Everybody's doing it. Lizards definitely have places to go, and they get there in some wacky ways. Imagine if you were a fringe-toed lizard. That sand is hot enough to singe, so you'd have to watch your step or get moving fast. If you were an Indonesian Komodo dragon, the king of the reptiles, you'd weigh over 300 pounds, and a lizard that big goes wherever he wants. Try tiptoeing around like this soft-stepping chameleon who can sneak up on juicy bugs. Or rush along with this loping basilisk lizard. Don't laugh yet. He has a special trick no one else can do. He can walk on water. Jumping is a great way to get where you're going, and lizards are champion leapers. But flying is more fun, as this Draco lizard knows. Now, spread your wings and get ready to catch some air. We're going for a ride. Imagine you're a paradise tree snake headed for home. No feet, no problem. Snakes can fly too. After you've landed, do what most snakes do. They keep their scales on the ground and use their strong muscles to slither along. Can you sidewind like the slippery horned viper? She knows where she's going. 
only she gets there sideways. The desert sand really burns. The less her tummy touches the ground, the better. So, she only lets two points of her body touch at once. Dinner time! Uh-oh, looks like somebody's got a bit of a problem. But it's a fact that little snakes like big eggs. So, what's a hungry snake to do? He's certainly bitten off more than he can chew. Well, this egg-eating snake has a special serpent trick. His jaws can unhinge. He just wiggles them apart, then gulps the egg down. That would be the same as you swallowing a football. How does a snake smell his dinner? He sticks out his tongue, of course. See, snakes don't need noses. They have special tongues that can actually taste the air, pick up scents, and smell them in the roof of their mouths. That's so cool! Hungry reptiles need all kinds of special hunting equipment. <coughs> Bugs for dinner? Get yourself a set of swively eyes, like this chameleon has. Nothing's safe from him. Each eye can move in any direction. When he lines up an insect in his sights, the chameleon zaps it with his super long tongue. It's almost as long as he is. Even with all those big, sharp teeth, crocodiles can't chew. They have to get into a bit of a spin to break off bite-sized chunks of food. Turtles are the right size to dine on a menu of dainty dandelions. But the competition is fierce. Did you know that turtles can go for a week without water? <laughs> and you thought camels got thirsty. Anacondas are the fattest snakes in the world. This one is only a baby. He'll grow to weigh 400 pounds and stretch as long as a limousine. <laughs> Learning the hard way. This gray rat snake is a slippery stalker. But he's not as smart as he thinks. What do you think he's up to? Aha! There's his prey. A woodpecker and her nest, high at the top of the tree. If she doesn't look out, that snake will steal her chicks away. But the woodpecker is already planning her defense. With a rat-a-tat-tat, -tat, she pecks holes in the tree, and sticky, itchy sap comes out. The snake's creeping closer. But he's starting to itch. Pretty soon, he's going to have to scratch those scales. And then, there's only one way to go. Timber!
This monitor lizard is big enough to be a bold thief. He smells a fine fish on someone else's dish. But look out for an even better burglar. Bath time! <laughs> Snakes don't really take baths, but they do like to change their clothes. They rub and rub themselves along the ground, using the friction to zip out of their old skin and into the new, one size larger. Since water snakes can't use the ground to rub their old skins off, they do a special twisty dance. Crocodiles prefer a belly flop and a great big splash. But turtles like a long soak in a gooey mud puddle. What does a pygmy gecko do to keep clean? He doesn't have any eyelids, so he uses his tongue like a windshield wiper. Bedtime! There's nothing like a nap after a nice bath. Cold-blooded reptiles like to bunk down with their buddies to stay warm. But these yawns don't mean they're sleeping. This crocodile is overheated and he's using his mouth like an air conditioner. He opens wide so cool air can circulate. Watch your step. He can close those jaws with a snap. Shh. Don't wake this bunch of slithery sleepers. They're rattlesnakes, and they hibernate together to stay warm. Why don't snakes close their eyes when they sleep? Snakes are born with their eyes wide open, and they stay that way. You see, they don't have eyelids, so they always sleep with the lights on. Up and at em, folks! When winter's over, it's a garter snake grab for the top of the hibernation heap. Story time! Long, long ago, 
people believed in fire-breathing dragons. And you know, they were right. Well, almost right. 200 million years ago, hatching from eggs just like modern reptiles, huge lizards were born. We know now, they were the dinosaurs. And they left behind some fierce reminders that they once ruled the Earth. Some dinosaurs were gentle giants, as tall as the trees. They could eat ferns and leaves. Some were super sprinters. Hey, that's no dinosaur. But this frilled lizard is a distant relation. Did you know the crocodile family was around at the same time as the dinosaurs? In fact, crocodiles are over 65 million years old. That's a lot of birthdays. They're practically dinosaurs themselves. Dinosaurs have a lot in common with the crocodiles and alligators we know. Dinosaur parents took good care of their babies too. You can sure see the resemblance. But they aren't the only dinosaur pal still walking around today. The Tuatera is older than them all, a real living legend. Hide and seek! Who is lurking down here so deep? There, a camouflaged caiman with rumply skin, pretending to be a tree. A delicious fish snack? Better look twice. It's a snapping turtle trap. This soft shelled turtle hides in the leaves and mud. After ten whole minutes, it's finally time to snorkel for some air. Sometimes, the best hiding places are easy to spot. This sly viper just muscles his way into the sand. Now you see him? Now you don't. Chameleons are the best at hide and seek. They can change color. First it's a rock, then a bright green leaf. Then, just another menacing branch on this thorn tree. Ouch! Well, it's still a prickly business, don't you think? More tender toes for the fringe-toed lizard. Even his tap dance won't help on this hot sand. But his feet aren't just for dancing.
the best way out of the sun is into the sand. And his frilly toes help him dig. The shy sand skinks will do anything to hide, even swim into the sand. Oops, time for us to sneak away too. But first, see what you remember. Do slithery snakes use their noses to smell? Not when their tongues will work just as well. Why does a rattler rattle his rattle all day? To make enough noise to warn you away. If there's an egg on the menu, who's likely to know? An egg-eating snake who can swallow it whole. Who has a super long tongue and wiggly eyes? Yes, the chameleon, who can wear almost any disguise. Why does the fringe-toed lizard dance all around? To keep his toes off the hot, hot ground. Who's the thirstiest reptile you'll meet? The deep-drinking turtle, who can drink just once a week. Who carries her babies around in grand style? Mama Croc, who hides them in her big, toothy smile. And who are related to the dinosaurs of long ago? Why, our friends the reptiles, don't you know? That's all for Madison and the Rockin' Reptile Gang. Catch you later. Watch for Madison and his magic zapper. He'll pop up again with a whole world full of animal friends for you. We'll be rolling, running, and swimming together real soon on your Growing Up Wild Adventures. <laughs>